Hey guys, welcome to another video by DJ's PRC. I want to show you guys how to program a back with the Castle Link. Now, if you guys want to know how to download the Castle Link software, I do have a video on that. Just check the videos. Now, once your software is a Castle Link is installed, you'll be able to connect your device to it. Right now, I have the CC back and connected to it. And I want to show you guys with the CC Beck 2.0. I'll start by this one right here and I'll show you the basics of it. What you see on your screen here on your left top, you'll have File, Device, Language, and Help. Then you have About, Basic, and Software. In your left corner, bottom should I say, you have USB Connected Devices Linked. In your right bottom, you have update or default. Now, if we go in files and click on file, you'll have graph, load, save, print, preview, should I say, and print, and exit. In device command, you have read, update, factory default, reset the castle link. Language, you can choose your language. and help, you have your helps. Uh, basically check for software, automatic check for updates, about the castle link, and what's new. That's where it tells you a little bit of other products that's new you can do with the castle link. Now, in about tells you what's plugged in. If we go underneath basic, in basic this is where you'll be able to choose your voltage you want the back to output. Now, you have to remember, guys, that what you input in the back, it, that's what it's going to, maximum is going to output. Let's say you put a two cell. So, a two cell, you won't be able to select, let's say, like a nine volt. Because you're surpassing the voltage of your battery. Your battery is a 7.4. It's a maximum of 7.4. Now, pretty much every servo out there, there are six volts max, or if you go with a uh, high voltage servo, you'll have more. But let's say you have a basic servo, non high voltage, you could select 6.1. Now that's the voltage you want to select. Basically, once you selected your voltage, you go to update and you press update. Now it prompts you a screen telling you the status of, the, uh, of your completed update. And it says update setting completed. You press OK. Now your Castle Link is programmed. Well, your Castle Link, your pack is programmed at 6.1 volts. Then you just unplug it, plug it in. Now, if you go underneath software here, current firmware is version 1.03. The device is the CC back. And available firmware updates. Now, this guy is showing me two right now. Basically, the newest version is 1.03. The old version is 1.0. That's the beta. But let's say you wanted to go back to the beta. You hit the beta, update firmware, and it's going to be, it's going to downgrade the firmware on it. Now, we're not going to play with the firmware. You're better off with the most recent. Now, you go back in about. Now, if you go on file now you have the options of saving the data for future and reloading it or even seeing the graph if you wanted to now what i want to show you guys is the print preview hit print preview and we're going to rename it cc back 1.0 and let's press ok and we're going to go full screen now, this is basically a printable sheet you can keep in your records telling you you know what's the CC back 1.0, what's programmed in it. You have the title, then the date you did it, and the time you did it. And then your basic voltage output is 6.1. Then it tells you the software and the current firmware. You can print that off, keep it in your record, name it. You could even name it the vehicle you wanted to use. 
and you know exactly what's in that vehicle if it's not easy to access to reprogram or see what's in it. Now let's close this off. Now let's unplug this guy. And plug in the newest castle link out there. Let's plug it in. There we go. It's the CC Back 2.0 waterproof battery eliminator circuit switching voltage regulator. Now again, programming this guy is the same same thing as the 1.0. You have all the same options. We're going to go under basic. Now you select your voltage that you want. The minimum, the default, or the maximum. Again, same thing here, guys. If you're running at two volt, uh, so at two cells, should I say, you can go to 12 volts. Now, the CC back 2.0, it's able to take a 14S. At the end of the day, a 6 volts to 58.8 volts input. That's a lot of voltage. Now, if you select a voltage that's not compatible with anything out there, the link will let you know. Right now, I just selected 8 volts. Yeah, it prompts you, telling you you selected an output voltage greater than 6 volts. This may damage standard RC receivers or servos. Please assure that you have read understand the rating of the electronics power of this, this device. Basically, what it's telling you is that if your servo can't take 8 volts, do not give it 8 volts. Pretty much all receivers out there can take up to 9 volts. But you don't want to go greater than that. Now, if you have a high voltage servo that takes 7.4, basically you could select 8 volts and keep it there, or you could go custom. Now, in the custom, this is where you're going to use this corner here to select your voltage you want to give the servo or whatever you want to power 7.5 or 7.2, and then you just do update again press ok now your back is programmed the way you want it to that one at custom is 7.5 or if you just want to put it back to stock you press default update and it's done you could go right here in the uh, right bottom default and we'll go back to this one right here this is the basic of the CC back uh, with the castle link if you guys have any questions or comments post them down below in the comment and if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you didn't like this video give it a thumbs down and don't forget to subscribe guys enjoy